you need to automate your business. And I don't mean this if else statement bullshit. I mean, really automate your business. There's just so many tools out there. There's GPT-4.0, there's Llama 70 billion parameter, there's Gem, uh, there's Gem, Gemini, you know, you name it. There's so many tools that you can use. And if you want it on device, you know, you've got the tools like Olama and LM Studio. But what I'm getting at is right now, if you're not considering any of these AI tools, you are wasting your time and you are draining money from your company. So I'm going to give you some ideas of how we are uh, automating our business at Augmented AI. So I'll give you one example, right? We create courses. Now in our business, there's a whole bunch of repetitive tasks that we do from first day of the month to the end of the month. One of them is like, you know, social media generation. Number two is article generation, creating the sales funnel. All of these things can be automated and we are on a mission or I'm personally on a mission to automate almost every single part of the business. So the first way we are doing this is by automating the article and email generation process. So we used to pay people $50, 20 to $50 per email. Imagine that, that's $500 on the table every single month. Imagine how much better we can spend that, you know? <laughs> now, obviously you can go to ChatGPT and generate articles, but now in ChatGPT, you're gonna be asking, you know, you're gonna be prompting to this email for this topic, right? And then do the next thing, which is, okay, refine it like this, refine it like that. We've done away with that repetitive, iterative process, and we are able to generate our articles in a single shot. And we do this with a Llama 70 billion parameter model that's hosted on Grok, and it works super fast, it works super well, and we've refined our prompts in such a way that, you know, we just click, we just type in what the topic is, and we have everything there. It inserts the articles and the images and whatever the links that we want. It does it all in a single shot. So we save all of that time just by coding a simple app for ourselves, right? That's just one way that we are doing this. So the other way that we are saving money is from voiceovers. Now we have lecturers, human lecturers that create the lectures for us, but they don't have the best speaking ability, right? So we take the transcript that we get from them and we send them to our voiceover artists, right? The biggest problem besides for the cost, which is $300 for maybe uh, a course, maybe even more, is that it takes them two to three days for a single 30 minute lecture. Two to three freaking days for a 30 minute lecture. It shouldn't take more than 30 minutes in order to generate a 30 minute voiceover. But yeah, we, it, it takes us that long. And now we've automated that whole process with AI. Because now from $300 using OpenAI API, it brings us down to under $1 for that same set of lectures. It's pretty amazing. And the best part is that the turnaround time is under one to five minutes. It's amazing. Now I know text-to-speech doesn't sound the best right now, but that will improve with time, but it's best to get the systems in place right now so that when the technology improves, your technology automatically improves as well. So you have a choice between, you know, OpenAI API, which does a decent job, and there's also 11 Labs, which is, I think, in my opinion, the best text-to-speech out there right now. There are other ones that, you know, you may know of, but we will be exploring those in uh, the near future. What I'm getting at is that you need to learn how to code or learn how to create these tools so that, you know, for me, I love Python. I'm used to it and I've been coding Python for many years. You don't need to, okay, having basic logic on how to code is important, right? Knowing the syntax is important. But with the help of like ChatGPT or even like an open source model like CodeQuen 1.5, which seems to be working quite well, and Phi3, those models work well in my PyCharm ID. Yes, I'm a PyCharm me rather than a VS coder. I don't know everything in Python, right? I'm not the best coder in the world, but I enjoy it. I enjoy creating these new tools and automating my business. And I get ChatGPT and all of these large language models to do the heavy lifting for me, to create the code that I myself would not be able to create. Or even if I did create it, it would take me probably three to four days longer to get that code, whereas ChatGPT can help me get to that point in time or automating the task much sooner. 
and that's where we're saving more money also and so instead of hiring a developer which can cost up to a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars for that same app you know i can just ask ChatGPT and it will give me that code in just you know just a bit so all of it's adding up five hundred dollars plus another three hundred dollars plus another thousand to two thousand dollars you can do the math it's saving a lot of money and the other point i want to get at is you know stop using third-party services you know so instead of using otter you know you're paying 11 dollars per month some services go up to 22 dollars there's a lot of third-party services out there that can say that they're saving you time and money but instead of going from a 10x improvement you can go to a 100x improvement just by doing it yourself you know using the logic from your brain to say okay i want to automate this task i can use a service but it's going to cost me a lot more in the long run but if you do it yourself you know you don't have to pay that ongoing cost you can just run it on device and you know bob's your uncle yeah instead of otter you can use a tool like mac whisper if you're on mac there's some windows tools as i'm not sure about those it transcribes your audio you know it summarizes it it gives you subtitles and it also has ai uh, capabilities which can summarize your entire text very nicely look i get it you know not all of us are coders and if you don't want to learn code that's perfectly fine use tools like you know make or zapier like i i know they do cost a monthly fee and i did say don't use third-party services but you know there's tools that can help you automate this task and link from one api to the next and to get this done you know just to build put all of the building blocks together so that you have the bigger picture of how it all fits together i do this all in python because you know i'm comfortable with it and that's why i recommend to a lot of my friends you know learn a coding language so that you can make miracles in your business <laughs> and that brings me to another topic about the rabbit r1 you know they say it will help with automation with their large action models and i get the philosophy he has this vision where you know we can automate these different tasks and you have this device your personal assistant that can help you with all of them right so the philosophy is great but the execution is not and there's a lot of loopholes they using playwright scripts and some other things but when the ui changes off that service like uber or the delivery service that they ordering from when those things change you know it breaks a script but let's not get into that whole discussion let's focus on you know their philosophy which is you got this large action model you say what you want to do and it'll go and do the stuff like oh check my emails is there anything important that i need to check up or create a coupon for this uh, course that we are launching tomorrow or generate this whole sales funnel and it'll do it you know those are the things that i would like to be done you know there's tools like uh, open interpreter which is super cool that you should check out you know it helps to automate certain tasks. It's right now, it's not at the level where I would like it, you know, to be able to say, close all my apps, post this to social media, you know, you can just say it and it'll automate it. But it's best to start now developing those systems so that when it becomes good, you know, your semi-autonomous thing or tool gets taken to autonomous level and you have less work to do. So then we can follow the Tim Ferriss four hour work week schedule rather than having, you know, the 40 hour work week, you know, where you're doing most of the work. It will get down to 20 hour work week when, you know, you start automating a certain task, then it will get less and less as the tools become smarter and smarter and smarter. So like I said, develop the technologies now. It might not be perfect, but when GPT-5 comes out or Llama 4 or whatever future model comes out, uh, uh, the Apple event, WWDC, I can't wait for it. Uh, that's going to come out very soon. So I hope that, you know, they introduce some automation tools that will help us save time, you know, automate tools to, an, to the next level. I know they are linking with OpenAI, but you know, we might not know what the future holds maybe things will become better things might become quicker and if you would like an expert in automation you're welcome to contact me we have consulted with many companies out there in terms of like automating certain tasks with computer vision large language models and you name it and we're doing this for ourselves we're practicing what we preach we're doing this for our own business solving our own problems if they can shorten their time to market they will make the money you know hands out so invest the cost right now and start learning how to code automate your business and you'll see miracles happen 
So with us, we've trained over 100,000 subscribers on our channel. And yeah, on my LinkedIn, I have over 44,000 followers and I am the top voice in AI. Yeah, so if you want to get in touch, definitely message me on LinkedIn and I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments down below to say if this podcast inspired you, you know, if, if I, if you don't like what I've said today, if you disagree with me, yeah, leave it in a comment down below, you know, let's, let's open up a discussion of automation. And I know, you know, people's jobs are going to be taken. And I do understand this is a very, very touchy topic, right? But look, you're running a business. You want to be as profitable as possible, right? And you see, you're seeing this across the board, not only in my company, right? We're not only cutting out people in our company. We're not doing this with a mission to getting rid of people's jobs. We're trying to raise our bottom line. We're trying to automate things so that our business can be more profitable. So that the people that work for us right now, you know, the jobs that cannot be automated right now, they can get a salary increase, you know, they benefiting from it. And look, I don't want to be very controversial and say that, you know, we need to get people, get rid of people's jobs. Yeah, I, I really don't know how to say this, but AI is going to take a lot of people's jobs. And I'm not saying that I'm happy about this, or I'm just saying that we are looking to become lean as possible. But there's many companies that like Flipkart, they've, I think they've gotten rid of about 7,000 employees because they have automated everything by AI. And look, things are changing. The world is changing. People or companies want to make as much money as possible, be as profitable as possible so they can do bigger and better things, right? It's not right, you know, to replace someone with AI. Whether you replace a person with another person right, or with AI, if that other person or robot can get it done quicker, faster, cheaper, if you were the owner of the, that specific company or if you own your own business right now, which would you choose, right? Let me know in the comments down below, how do you feel about this, right? It's a very touchy topic and let's dive into a discussion. We also have a WhatsApp group in AI, drones, computer vision, you name it. So I'll have all of those links down below, so check it out. And we also have a whole bunch of courses on automation, AI in medical, AI in agriculture, you know, AI in trading. Essentially, we have a whole bunch of courses in AI that's super awesome and you should definitely check it out. Also, like and subscribe if you like this type of content, you know, me speaking from my heart, talking to you real one-on-one, -on -one. let me know how it goes.